Well, this is gonna be fun. Hi everyone, my name is Marissa. I am a certified personal trainer and future dietitian, and I already filmed this video yesterday. However, about three quarters of my video ended up being completely out of focus. So if you see me trying really hard to stay in the same place and sit still during this video, that's why. I do a very bad job of it. Um, I'm always moving around, but today I'm going to stay stationary for the sake of the quality of the video. If you don't know already, I used to be in a multi-level marketing company, which I will be referring to as an MLM for the duration of this video. If you don't know what an MLM is, I highly encourage you to do a little bit of background research before watching this video. Um, it's a little bit complex, but ultimately it's a business model that focuses highly on recruiting other people to do the same job as you. And people think that they are business owners when in actuality they are not. They are 1099 contractors and it is not the same thing, but we'll get into all of that in this video. But I would definitely recommend that you go research that a little bit. Just look it up. It's a really easy Google search if you just type in what is an MLM or a multi-level marketing company. Plus, I would definitely watch my first video on me being in an MLM. That will give you a whole lot of background information. It's my entire story and I talk about everything that went on from beginning to end. This will help you understand a lot of what's going on in this video. So definitely go watch that one before you watch this one. I went through and I picked a few Instagram posts when I was in an MLM. To be honest, there were so many posts. It would have taken me at least three hours to get through every single post I had made. And I'm just talking about my Instagram feed. I'm not even talking about my stories. So anything that I posted on my IG stories, my Facebook, old YouTube videos that have since been deleted. If you want a part two, let me know because I will do that. However, just in this video, we're going to focus on my Instagram feed. And I, if you want to look at some of the posts that I didn't include in this video, you're more than welcome to. It's all on my Instagram still. I didn't delete anything. Uh, so you can look back, take a trip down memory lane with me if you so choose. But let's get right into it. My first post, this wasn't even me declaring that I was in this company yet. This picture was taken in Las Vegas at their big corporate event. MLMs hold these giant events and a lot of the pictures that I ended up putting up were pictures from when I went to those events, kind of to show off like, hey, I'm traveling. This is what I get to do in my company. How great is it that they put on these huge events and we get to travel and have so much fun when in reality it's a four day long event you're sitting down in a huge arena with a bunch of other people just like you for at least eight hours each day and you have to pay to attend. And I'm not talking about airfare, gas, if you're driving, things like that. I'm talking you have to buy tickets to the event in advance. All of it costs money. <laughs> it wasn't like, oh, we get this free trip. If you rank high enough, you do get free trips. But of course, I never got to go on any of those trips because I didn't do a good enough job apparently. But yeah, this was when I was 17 years old. My parents took me to my first ever MLM huge event and I fell in love. I was ready. Like I wanted to make this my career, which you'll see later. This one was also at the event. They put on this huge gala. It's basically an award ceremony for the top income earners in the company. And everyone I believe is invited to it and you get to dress up in formal wear and make everything seem fancier than it actually is. You walk in and you're sitting in the same arena or a similar arena that you were for the rest of the event and you're just sitting around watching all these people who are rich from your MLM walk across stage and get handed an award. 
it's not all that glamorous. From Instagram's perspective, it looks like I'm having the best time ever. It's supposed to get people curious so that they reach out to me and ask me what I was doing so I can tell them that I went to this amazing event for my company that sells health and wellness products and it's just this whole thing. I talk about this in my first video that my parents were the ones that got me into this MLM and the way they would get people in is my mom would do free workouts and she created this community of women uh, around the ages like 30 to 60 that wanted to transform their lives, transform their bodies and all of that. So what she would do is run these fitness challenges where you would go to her workouts for like maybe eight to 12 weeks and then at the very end they would all come together and do this super glamorous photo shoot my mom would hire a super expensive photographer and take pictures for these girls so they can show off their bodies and say hey this is what i did to get fit i used these nutrition products the things like that and honestly it worked very well it was a very smart business move on their end uh, and i would just attend these photo shoots even though i didn't participate in the fitness challenges themselves because my only form of exercise was dance. I didn't do anything else. I was naturally skinny. So from someone's point of view that has never seen me before, I looked in great shape just because I was skinny, um, but I had no muscle mass. And as you can see in this picture, I, like you can tell I was super skinny then. This was the first time I had hinted at the fact that I was in an MLM. I said, it was such an incredible opportunity to get to do this photo shoot with a group of women all working together to accomplish their health and fitness goals. Their transformations were awe inspiring and I can't wait to do it again. DM me for details if you wanna be in the next one. And I put 18 plus because you cannot join an MLM if you are under the age of 18. And I started right when I turned 18. So that's that was the first thing. Then there was another picture from this photo shoot of all the women together and I said, I love being a part of a company that changes lives. It brings me so much joy to my heart seeing people gain their health, energy, positivity, and confidence back. The funny thing about that is, I still love that. I still love helping people gain their health, energy, positivity, and confidence back, but I get to do it in a way that's not outwardly scamming people now, and it is truly amazing. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I also said I love working from home and having more freedom, which I still love. I'm notorious for piling up my schedule with three plus jobs, and now I no longer need to do that. That was kind of misleading because I kind of did need to do that. I ended up quitting my last stable job to pursue this company when I still look back on it and think, wow, I really should have at least kept that job through the summer, saved up for college. I would have had more money. I made barely any money that first summer. I signed up in May and then I quit my part-time position in May as well. And I totally could have saved so much money. So when I said I no longer needed to do that, it's more like, I no longer wanted to do that. I love talking about things I'm passionate about and helping people achieve their goals through nutrition. That is still true. <laughs> I can easily say this will be my lifelong career that I was blessed to start at the age of 18. If you want to embark on this journey with me, you know what to do. I totally thought this was going to be, this was it for me. That was the only thing I was ever gonna do with my life and I was gonna make tons and tons of money. Next one. Um, I just recently made a Facebook group for all my fellow college goers who are into health, fitness, and or nutrition. Definitely check it out and get involved, link in bio. That was my gimmick to get college students to sign up for this company. I created a Facebook group called Fight the Freshman 15 because if you don't know, the Freshman 15 is that saying that you gain 15 pounds in your freshman year of college because you let yourself go, college gets in the way, you stop playing sports, whatever the situation may be. So my little gimmick was fight the Freshman 15. So you know, it doesn't have to be this way. You can stay in shape, whatever. I would promote my Facebook group and other UF Facebook groups. And that's how I got a lot of my leads and that's how I got pretty much all of my signups in college. Um, and the crazy thing is, I'm still friends with a lot of those people to this day. I really tried to foster real friendships, which most of the time when you're in an MLM, all you see are like dollar signs floating above people's heads. And I tried really hard not to do that. To some extent, yes, 
I totally admit that I did, but I really liked a lot of these people that I talked to and I'm still friends with them and I'm really happy that I was able to maintain those friendships. Celebrate life's precious moments. It's seriously just the small things in life that make me the happiest. Just having great conversations with people lift me up, whether it's talking about someone's goals and dreams or how they want to lose weight or gain more energy, it makes my heart happy knowing that I can help them achieve it through my nutrition products. If you have a passion for helping people and changing lives, I'd love to have a conversation with you. All of these are just ploys to get people to DM me and ask what I'm doing. Truth be told, it was very, very rare for someone to actually ask me what I was doing and DM me and reach out. I was doing most of the prospecting. Like I would message dozens of people. And then this photo was from another one of the photo shoots that my mom did. Um, it says, these photo shoots keep getting better and better. All these gorgeous women have worked so hard to achieve optimal health and it really shows. Anyone can do this. With enough motivation, losing weight, gaining energy, improving athletic performance, and feeling amazing is very easy to do. Hearing all the testimonials from these girls brought me an even greater sense of belief that this stuff works. I truly believe that this stuff works. I literally said multiple times back then that I believed in this company as much as I believe in Jesus. That's kind of messed up. That should tell you how all in I was in this company. And then this next one, my mom printed custom tank tops for her tribe of women, the ones that were doing the fitness challenges and were in the photo shoots. And I said, representing the tribe, our team is heading to Nashville in two weeks. Message me on how to become part of the tribe and come with us next year on the best vacation of your life. Best vacation of my life, really. Okay, it was fun. Going away is fun, especially when your parents are paying for the majority of your trip. But no, it is really not a vacation. We would try and make a vacation out of it because the event would typically be four days long and we would stay for an extra three. So it was a whole week. We were in another state, living it up, even though we were just sitting in an arena for most of the time. Yeah, I ended up going to three corporate events. The goal for these events is to try to get your prospects or customers to go with you. Like let's say someone's not interested in selling the product, but they like the product and they use it. You wanna try and get them to the event because it'll make them want to do the business because they really drive it home that this is the vehicle to making money and having financial freedom and all of that. Most of the time, your prospects and your customers don't end up going because it costs so much money. People can't take off work for that long and spend all that money to travel. So it was just like, it's ridiculous. And I did end up bringing some people there that when they got home, they were like, yes, let's go, let's go and then two weeks later their motivation dies off and then they never do it again and that's really what I found happens with these events is you go their purpose is to pump you up and get you super motivated and then that motivation is very fleeting it doesn't last and two weeks later you're back to square one and you're not consistent anymore here's another one this was at the Music City Center in Nashville Tennessee um, this video that I posted was at the white party <laughs> um, it was an exclusive party at the event and you had to be a certain rank to go to the party you're supposed to dress in white they had a dress code to make everybody all matchy matchy or whatever so my parents were at the rank that was required to attend this and I wasn't so people that weren't at the rank had the option to pay <laughs> to attend the party so my parents bought my ticket for me but of course like it's deemed as this super fun party. It's so exclusive. So even getting to pay to go is an honor. And I said, the culture of this company is really what makes me so passionate about it. Everyone is so inspiring, uplifting, encouraging, giving, you name it. It's the biggest blessing to be able to work with your friends and family and to get to know the hardest working individuals this world has to offer. Thank you to everyone who came to Nashville this year. It's just getting started, but I've already been filled with so much joy and motivation because of these 16,000 beautiful people. I don't know who I was referring to as 16,000 people. It sounds like I have 16,000 people in my business, but but that is so not true. So I'm sure I was talking about something else. This one is a little judgmental. Um, I said, are you happy? Like really happy? Do you get excited to wake up every morning? If not, 
What's stopping you? Is it because of financial struggles, lack of confidence in your skin, constantly trading time for money at a job you hate, not having enough energy to go out and do the things you love? Whatever it is, there's a solution. A solution that transforms lives. So what the heck are you waiting for? If this isn't the most MLM copy I've ever written, like the typical, your life sucks, join me and I'll make your life better type of thing, oh my God. There are so many struggles in the world and to say that this is the solution to all of them is super ignorant. Another one, and keep in mind all of these pictures are from my Nashville trip because one of my friends that came with me is a photographer, so I made him take like a million photos of me so that I would have enough to keep posting on my Instagram. So they're all pretty much the same photo, just in different poses. If there's anything I've learned in my first few months of building this business is how to handle it when people say no. Newsflash, I still don't handle it super well. I've been told no more in the last four months than in my previous 17 years of life, even by the people closest to me. Cause God God forbid the people closest to me are wary of MLMs and don't want to join my legal pyramid scheme. I made it seem like kind of like a diss to like, you know who you are, you're close to me, but you don't want to be in my business. At first it totally sucked, but it made me grow thick skin and taught me how to place less value on the outcome. This company has made me put on my big girl pants and step into the real world. And I am so grateful for that. I really wasn't. My dad paid for my rent in college the entire time I was there and paid for my subscription to this company's nutrition. It did not make me put on my big girl pants. Personal development, yes. Knowing how to manage my finances, not as much. Here's another one. I think it's pretty simple. Most people don't eat healthy because it's one, expensive, and two, time consuming to prep. But what if I told you this? You have the ability to eat cleaner than organic for $2.85 or less. So back in the day, um, I know prices have gone up since, but when you purchase the meal replacement shakes with your preferred customer discount, if you broke it down by meal, it would be $2.85 per meal. However, they're not meals. They're meal replacement shakes that are 240 calories. That's really not a meal. And we were pushing people who wanted to lose weight to have two shakes a day and one plated meal a day. That is not enough food for anybody. And yes, people saw rapid weight loss, but it wasn't sustainable. And it's just so frustrating looking back on how diet culture was woven into this company and I didn't notice. Okay, here's a beautiful post about working from home. <laughs> Why is working from home so great? I get to make my own hours. First of all, if you're in an MLM, all you think about is your business. You are constantly working your business, whether it's messaging people, being on team calls, coaching other people, or just thinking about it. It's always racking your brain. I couldn't sit in a coffee shop without thinking, oh, I should go talk to that person, but I'm too nervous. And just constantly like, any new conversation I had with someone, in the back of my head, I was thinking, I need to sell them on this. That is an awful way to live. When I say I was making my own hours, you eat, sleep, and breathe your MLM when you are in one. It really takes a toll on your mental health. I get to wear whatever I want off in my PJs. No distractions. Don't have to appeal to some higher up that may or may not pay me what I'm worth. I wasn't paid what I was worth it, at all in any capacity. I was paid way less than I was worth and way less than how hard I worked. I was working pretty much overtime. I used to say that I was working part-time, but consider how much I was thinking and obsessing over messaging people. It was much more than that. So don't have to appeal to some higher up that may or may not pay me what I'm worth. I am appealing to a higher up. I'm not only appealing to the founders of the company, I'm appealing to my upline. So that's total BS. And I wasn't paid what I was worth. So this was totally not true and super misleading. And then I said, this one's interesting. It says, those in my community, comment your fave part about working from home because I definitely missed some. When I say people in my community, I meant that I created an engagement group and all these people in my engagement group were in the company, but we were not financially tied. So when I say my community, it wasn't my community. Unless you're talking about the community of the entire company, I was not directly tied to any of these people, but we would pretend like we were to seem like I signed up so many people. And of course you should join me because there's so many people signing up with me. In this 
post, I talk about my daydream. My daydream is being one of the youngest millionaires in my company, getting asked to speak at on stage at one of our events and impacting thousands of lives. Guys, if you didn't know I was all in with this company already, this should prove it to you. That was my goal. I thought because I had such an amazing head start starting right when I turned 18 that I could be a millionaire in the company by 22 or 23. And it's crazy because everyone has a demographic that they appeal to. And when I was in this company, my demographic was broke college students because I was one also and I went to a huge university. So those were the only people I were really interacting with day to day. And of course, no broke college student is gonna pay between $200 and $800 on a starter pack and keep up with that monthly bill. Even though I had a head start, I couldn't get customers and I couldn't get people to want to recruit with me. It was so frustrating, such a waste of time. All right, this next post uh, requires a little bit of a background story. I believe I talk a little bit about it in my first video, but um, every January, the company runs a huge promo to get people to sign up more people because, you know, at the beginning of the year, everyone restarts their health and fitness goals. So the company really tried to profit off of that. So they'll run big bonuses and promos. So with this promo, there were four main ranks in the company. I believe when the promo started, I was at the second rank, but everyone was supposed to act like they were at the very bottom and work their way up, recruiting people in such a manner that they would rank up over again. And as you hit those ranks again, not only do you make the bonus, you make double. When I totaled how much money someone could make, from the bonuses alone, I totaled $5,000 roughly. So I rebranded it and said I was running a challenge called the $5,000 in 15 weeks challenge. And here's what I said. So clearly my $5,000 in 15 weeks post got people talking, but I wanna make sure everybody knows the criteria. So here it is. Must be passionate about health, fitness, and nutrition in some way. Must be motivated, have grit, and be unafraid of rejection. Have a love for helping others. If this sounds like you, I'd love to get in touch, but hurry, this opportunity won't last long. This promo ran from January to April. This was the time that I went and worked my absolute hardest at this business. It was all I thought about. As if it wasn't all I thought about before, I was in it. I wanted to cash out on these bonuses so badly that I went through and I talked to people I would have never asked to be in this business. So I'm sorry to those of you watching who I prospected, especially during this time. Uh, I really wanted to make some money because I was hardly making any money prior to this and I knew this was a good opportunity to finally rake in some cash. I ended up getting to the third rank. I really wanted to go, like my New Year's resolution was to get to that fourth rank and I never did it. In my entire time in the company, I knew like if I was gonna do it, I was gonna do it during this promo because I would make so much money and I didn't hit it. After I hit the third rank, I slipped into the worst burnout of my entire life. Keep in mind, there were deadlines for each rank. You had to hit the next rank by the certain day and my family went to the beach a day before and I could not relax. It was supposed to be a relaxing family day. All I could think about was, oh my God, I need to find one more person. I need to find two more people uh, by midnight tomorrow. And I don't know if I'm gonna do it. How am I gonna do this? So anxiety inducing. You know how I ended up hitting that third rank? I ended up begging my friend who I knew would never sign up for the company. I begged her for her email so that my parents could buy product using her email as if I was signing up another person when really it was just them buying product under her account. Um, so she ha didn't have to pay anything. I just needed someone's email. That's how I hit that third rank. That was like the last resort because I had worked so hard that it didn't matter if the next week I had hit the rank, I wouldn't have reached the bonus because it's those really tight deadlines. I'm not proud of that, but that just goes to show you the lengths people go to try and succeed in this business. Okay, here's another one. I said, 
Corporate America is much like a pyramid where the people at the top make around 271 times the amount of the typical American worker. Don't believe me? Ask me for my source. I really don't know if I had a credible source or not. This is why I love what I do. I'm able to make an income while helping those around me do the same. In reality, I probably only helped a couple people make a couple hundred bucks. Really nothing substantial. Those on my team even have the opportunity to surpass me. That's right, if you work harder than me, you make more than me. It's that simple. This is much more difficult to do in corporate America and takes years, maybe even decades to climb the ladder. In network marketing, we're all here for each other. We support each other and encourage growth. We're all a team playing on the same level. So not true. It's true, those above you don't make a higher percentage just because they joined before you, unlike those MLMs everybody's wary of. I pretended like I wasn't in an MLM because my company fed me the lies that they weren't an MLM. It's network marketing. So from me to you, if anyone comes to you and says, oh, I'm not in an MLM, I'm just doing network marketing. Network marketing is an MLM. <laughs> I promise you. And saying people are on the same level is just misleading because if you got in to a company a week after the company was founded, you are going to make more money regardless, as long as you're staying active, than somebody who joins 20 years later. I promise you that. I would go to these events and I would continue to see the same five names at the very, very top the people that were making the most money a year were the same people every single year. And those people were the ones that joined first. How did I not see that back then? All right, this one's pretty sad. Um, this is my, I can't believe it's finally happening face. After nine months of being in this business, I am seeing the growth I had dreamed of when I first started. I really wasn't. This was in the middle of the huge promo. And yes, I was helping some people sign up other people, but those people would drop out the next month. So I was still playing catch up every single month. It wasn't like I would sign up people and they would stay with me for a year. No, they would. After a month, they were gone. People on my team aren't just loving the products. They're also excited to share them with others, mainly because I pressured them to share it with others. I am so blessed and grateful for everyone who has started this journey with me. And I can't wait to see us one year from now. If you've thought about reaching out to see if this is something you could do, hesitate no longer. If I've had a conversation with you in the past and you didn't follow through, I'm here with open arms and always will be. I'm here whenever you're ready to change your life for the better. I really believed in this man. Okay, here's another to all my friends in college. Why wait till you graduate to start making a great income? Some of you are going to be in debt. Why wait till you're drowning in it to start trying to pay it off? There's so much you can do right now to be financially free by the time you graduate. My goal is to be making six figures by the time I leave UF. Sound crazy? Hell yeah, it sounds crazy. After you take a look at the opportunity I offer, you'll realize just how possible this really is. The chance that I was actually gonna make that happen was like less than 1%. This isn't a good way to pay off debt. This is a good way to spend even more money that you don't have in college already. And I would even try to get people that were on the meal plan. Also, I'm sorry, people are like mowing the lawn outside. I don't know if you can hear it. I really hope this microphone is as good as it should be. <laughs> so you don't hear any of that. But yeah, I didn't make six figures. I didn't even break into five figures in my entire time in the company, so. And I worked really freaking hard. Like I keep emphasizing this because I worked harder than the average person in an MLM and I still had very, very minimal payout. Oh, okay. This is what Forbes said about network marketing. Could soon experience larger than life growth spurred on by millennials ready to become the entrepreneurs of tomorrow. How freaking cool is that? If you're willing to put in the work to make your dreams a reality, this is the vehicle that will allow you to do so. No, it's not. What I'm doing now is the vehicle that will allow me to make my dreams a reality. Trust me. I have earned more in my 10 months with this company than any other part-time job for the same duration. I really hope so, but if you factor in how much I would have been paying to buy the nutrition every month, if my parents weren't doing it for me, I would not have been able to say that. Uh, new people with little to no experience in network marketing are diving in every single day. So what's stopping you? Uh, I said they were diving in. I didn't say they were being successful in it. Uh, Cause if you don't have any experience with sales, it would put you at even more of a disadvantage than you already had in the company because of its flawed system. Uh, I'm here to show you how to make a full-time income doing part-time work. You will hear so many people in MLM say you can earn a full-time income doing part-time work. But in reality, most people end up working 
over time. If you look at the FTC um, income disclosure statements from certain companies, it will actually show you how many estimated hours someone has worked in their company to make their income margin. And usually it's above 40 hours, like well above 40. Some I saw 50, 60 to make six figures. It is, that is not worth it at that point. After hitting a big milestone in my company, then soon dropping everything because life got in the way, I felt like a failure. Life didn't get in the way. I just had crippling burnout from trying to pursue this with all of my energy. It didn't help that I constantly preached about consistency and felt like a hypocrite too. I was kind of being a hypocrite, yeah. But the beauty about my profession is profession. Oh my God. The only way to fail is to quit. And guess what? I'm not going anywhere. Quitting is never an option. I'll be doing this five, 10, 25, even 50 years from now. Do you see how all in I was? <laughs> 50 years from now, I thought I was gonna be still with this company and I only lasted two years. I didn't even last five years. I'm glad I didn't last five years because I realized the truth before that happened. And I always used to say, oh, people that quit just didn't do it long enough to see the, the growth, to see the real income. You have to work longer than a few months. You have to work longer than six months. You have to be in it for at least a year or more. No, <laughs> because I was in it for two years. I think that's pretty long term considering how hard I worked at it and I didn't see any of the results that I wanted to see. Oh my God, this is super misleading. I said that I was running a summer body challenge, kind of like what my mom was doing and I would have people pool in money to join so that the person who had the best transformation would get all of the money. And I said I was looking for promoters to help me spread the word about the challenge and I said you would be compensated for your time. What I meant was, if you were a promoter, you would have to join the company, and then when you found customers, you would make money like you're supposed to when you join an MLM. Or if they didn't wanna join the company with me, I would sign up the people that they promoted to under me and give them a small portion of the bonus money that I would have made for signing those people up. That's so dumb. That's so misleading that I said I wanted promoters when really I just wanted more customers for the business. Honestly, that was so much. That just scratched the surface. There were so many posts that I actually skipped because it was just redundant at that point. But if you're interested in looking back on those, it's all there for you. I hope you at least found this video entertaining. I really, really hope this was in focus for the majority of the video. Um, I am really bad at, with technology, so I apologize for that. I apologize to anybody I have prospected in the past, anyone I made uncomfortable. I swear I am different now. I have changed. I have grown as a person. I am no longer that naive 18 year old that trusted everything her parents said. If you are in an MLM yourself, I encourage you to do a little bit of research. Check the F FTC guidelines. Those are factual. Don't feed into every single thing your MLM tells you because a lot of it you will end up finding out isn't true. I don't despise anybody who is or was in an MLM. I wanna make that very clear. I clearly did the same thing. I was so far in it, I could never blame anyone else for doing the same thing. It would be super hypocritical. But if you have questions, feel free to reach out. I wanna be a resource for you if you have certain questions about anything really aside from MLMs, uh, anything health and fitness related, I would love to help. Like this video, subscribe for more anti-MLM content, subscribe to other anti-MLM channels. My favorites are Kiki Chanel and Cece Suarez. I hope you have an amazing 4th of July weekend, hoping that I get it out by then. Um, I edited the video that I made yesterday, just hoping that it would come into focus eventually. But after editing over 30 minutes of content, I realized that there was no hope. So this might come out a little later than I expected but thank you guys for sticking around and I will see you later.